Watching children and running errands are a few ways Americans help their neighbors. That's despite the impact of the pandemic. The findings are part of AmeriCorps' Volunteering and Civic Life in America Research Summary. Joining us to talk more about this is Michael Smith, Chief Executive Officer with AmeriCorps. Good morning, Michael. Thank you so much for spending some time with us today. Good morning. Thank you for inviting me to be with you today. Uh, Michael, tell us what the key findings are of this report. I would love to. Uh, AmeriCorps is the federal agency for volunteering and service. We have about 200,000 AmeriCorps members and AmeriCorps senior volunteers that are serving in locations across the country, including in Austin and, and, and Texas. Uh, in addition to supporting AmeriCorps members, we also really study and, and try to inspire service. Uh, and so we do a biannual research report with the Bureau of the Census. Uh, and this most recent report covered the pandemic period. Uh, and what we saw with these findings is some cause for concern and some cause for to celebrate. On the cause for concern, uh, for the first time since we've been collecting this data, we actually saw a dip in the number of Americans who say they volunteer uh, with a nonprofit organization on a regular basis. But to celebrate, we saw that the number of Americans saying that they help their neighbors uh, and do that informal volunteering, that stayed steady and strong. Um, why is it important that we look at these trends in volunteering? You know, for, for a few different reasons. One, nonprofit organizations, which are doing tutoring and mentoring programs, which are reducing violence, which are keeping our, you know, our parks and our oceans clean. Uh, these, you know, providing food. These nonprofit organizations, they depend on volunteers. And right now, you know uh, that demand for for the nonprofit sector is at an all-time high. And if we don't have a steady stream of volunteers coming in, the services that they provide are going to be impacted. So we need to understand where we need to double down, where we need to make changes uh, so that we can continue to move in the right direction. Michael, how do we make those changes? How do we double down? So, you know, there, there's so many interesting things to do. One, looking at this study during the pandemic, not entirely surprising that there was a dip given that so many Americans, uh, you know, volunteered with schools and schools were closed or, you know, seniors were told, please don't come, we, we want you to be safe. Uh, but we need to make sure that, that we learn, we learn to innovate. What are the barriers that exist to service? Uh, you know, a lot of nonprofits started doing virtual volunteering. I, I talked to one of our foster grandparents recently during the pandemic, she learned how to use an iPad and is now doing Doing virtual tutoring and mentoring, uh, so we can we can innovate. We can see what barriers we we need to do to remove, uh, and then we just need to sit down with our volunteers and say, what are the incentives that you need uh, and to make sure that you can continue to stay in. But I think the other thing that is important is we cannot. Uh, discredit or, or we can't we have to pay attention to the neighbor helping neighbor uh, the people that ran to the grocery store the people that set up the learning pods uh, the, the folks that said to that new military family we'll, we'll watch your kid for that extra hour that's incredibly important to the fabric of our country and our communities I mean it really helped um, just anecdotally uh, help communities get to know one another and all of us became so much closer Yes, yeah, service has the power of bringing people together. Uh, you, we, we find that that people build deeper relationships. You know, those things that divide us, uh, you know, like our political ide ideologies, you know, what neighborhood we're from, those things kind of go to the wayside uh, when you're rolling up your sleeves and, and helping your neighbors in need. Yeah, and, and when they are in need, you can uh, definitely be there for them. Michael, where can our viewers get more information? So if you want to find out how you can volunteer a couple hours a week or you want to think about becoming an AmeriCorps member, get a living allowance, get an education award, you can go to AmeriCorps.gov and we will point you on the right path. Michael Smith, CEO of AmeriCorps, thank you so much for joining us this morning. We appreciate your time. Thank you. Have a great day. You too.